Audrey Hepburn wow. rarely skimped on quality. If she wore a shirt, it was a good quality shirt, a first class shirt, or a first class hat. But it was very simple. She wore Givenchy in Breakfast at Tiffany's when she was Holly Go Lightly, the character. And fabulous images of huge hats with long drapes of organza. Very, very simple though, and a very simple silhouette. So we're gonna try to recreate that silhouette. Pure wool double crepe. The only other option is a single crepe, which is a very much lighter dress weight wool. Which was very much what they would drape clothes or make clothes in. It has a natural sort of stretch. That's the idea. This will be a winter simple black dress. In the double wool crepe. Then we have this. We have a brocade. Brocade. Which is super with the texture, a little bit more body. Big volume of skirt. Complementing cream top for the brocade skirt. Silk file. But the way it's weaved, you would see that it has a little bit of grain going on. And that would be very much the fabric that was used in 1950s. We have beautiful embellishment to make it more appropriate for an evening look. And it slips away. And a single wool crepe will go with polka dots. That's very nice. Small silk. It's so jacquard. soft. It pure is jacquard because that's a pure silk satin jacquard. Fabulous. You can very, see very the little the black dot. watermark off it, which is the jacquard element of it. Mm -hmm. So let's get going. Very simple, I love it. It looks almost like, yeah, it pleats up and then follows that line of the collar. A lovely sleeve, that's the most amazing sleeve. The bell sleeve almost. Yes, I feel like when it's silk satin, it needs yeah, a little needs bit something. of volume. Because the softness then gives you the plisse and, you know, almost a folding. And then if you had a cuff on it, that would be nice. It'd keep it in place, wouldn't it? If it started a little higher. Absolutely, that would be very sort of mm. slightly Edwardian almost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little pin tucks yeah. on a yoke as well, maybe at the back. I don't know why, you can see the uh, jacquard here, but you can't really see it on this side, can you? That's because the fabric goes the other way around, so on ah, one side so it goes. Moved it around. Yes. You could utilize that to yeah. get like so, a nice contrast, almost a plainer look, isn't it? So which know, side do you prefer? Subtle. Well, I do love the jacquard. That's using the, it's the Abraham jacquard, this one as well, which is very classic. And it used to get a lot of prints with this jacquard, and it's very much their signature. It's almost but slightly like a leopard print. No? It is, but yeah. it's more of a spot that's been, you know, manipulated. So it's three together, three spots together. But um, I love the way that's contrasting well, but it's meant to be this, so you yes, make correct. it all that way. Yeah. <laughs> so, you're gonna go. Well, it's a the phantom dress. People wanted to show how affluent they were after the war because all fabrics were rationed and Princess Margaret and the Queen went to Paris to Dior to the show and they just bought the whole collection, the two sisters, because it was such a luxury and they hadn't seen because we're all wearing <laughs> like military uniform because they did use the people um, who, who were designing were uh, Cecil Beaton, um, you, you had uh, this guy who was called Colonel Molyneux, used to make for the, the bridal work for 
Princess Marina of Greece, who I think is the sister of Prince Philip. And then this Molyneux chap, Edward Molyneux, brilliant, genius. But you know they designed all the CC41, the, the, the rationed wartime clothing. And they had yeah. the best, they had you know, everyone who was uh, top end, Hartnell, all the big names, you know. Use the fabric. Yeah, and the, this, this, this label they use, CC41 which was like, you know, they started obviously in 1941 with the rationing of the fabrics and used as little as possible. And they made the demob suits as well, you know. But they were lovely tweeds and herringbone tweeds, made to last a lifetime for people who left the army and the services in 1945. They'd all get a suit to a three-piece, usually in brown herringbone. So they were very rough. Like you think around the I think that's around also nice. Oh, it's an alternative, isn't it? Yeah. It's a good alternative. Because it still creams. looks brilliant. And it looks right. Well, with the right but it's either or, you can't have both. Oh, absolutely but I think not. that hid a lot of this, so that might yeah. be better. You that's what's important. A lot the of them are to hide the seams, aren't they? In the. Um, what do you call that when it's coming down like this? In the Peplum. 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 Peplums were big for uh, Dior as well. And then the boning would just curve into the back, wouldn't it, with the proper boning structure. A very feminine shape after, yeah, after yeah. all the war uniforms. Austerity. They were so skimpy. If you didn't have hips, you were in trouble. So next time we're going to be looking at hand-painted fabrics. really have to feel this to appreciate it even more and it has flocked flowers it feels like felt beautiful